last six months, all has been quiet at Hell's Kitchen. But although the monster slumbers, the memories live on. Memories of madness. It's inedible! It's way too peppery and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig! Stories of horror. Wow! Here! You kill someone! Don't die on me now, please! And cries of agony. <laughs> I can't believe I'm crying. I'm cracking up right now. For God's sake, man. I just want to go home. Only three have ever survived the trials of Hell's Kitchen. Now, we are reawakening the beast. And the Dark Lord reigns again. Fifteen new culinary warriors are about to step into battle. I'm like chomping at the bit. This ain't no joke. The gloves are off. Push, push, push. Bring it on. This year, the stakes are bigger than ever. One of you is going to become the executive chef at my new restaurant here in Los Angeles. Position worth a quarter of a million dollars. You can bet I'll be pushing these chefs harder than I ever have before. And the chefs will sink to new lows to win. I'll step on people all the way to the top. He threw all of y'all up under the bus. Oh, tables are turning a little bit now. I have a real problem with people. Treat people stupider than them. I don't think stupider is actually a word. What you cry. said was fucking vindictive and hateful. She's a ruthless bitch. She's evil. For some chefs, this will be a dream world. <laughs> that was the best. Very nice, that was also. Very nice. But for others, it will be their worst nightmare. Get out! Get out! Chef Ramsay freaks me out. Wake up or piss off. He was all up in here. I just want to go with some food! It's the hardest thing I've done in a long time. Smurf, put the pan on the stove! You ignorant donkey! Fuck this. I, I'm done. I, I can't take it. I'm pissed off. I've made it fucking clear. Do you want to argue now? God's standing there, and Chef Ramsay's standing there. Who are you more afraid of? Stand back! Stand back! And that's breaking my heart into pieces right now. I've never, never felt so shitty. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Shut it down! Shut it down! Turn it off! Get the fuckers out! Other way. Same shit, different day. Now, the saga of Hell's Kitchen continues. These 15 aspiring chefs are on their way to Hell's Kitchen. I'm here because I think Hell's Kitchen is my destiny. Whoever I have to step on, I can do that. I'm here to win. Being married to my daughter's father, that was truly living hell. So after that, Hell's Kitchen is going to be a cakewalk. The chefs think they know what lies ahead. But Chef Ramsay is planning a little surprise. The chefs are finally getting the chance to size up the competition. But what they don't know is that Chef Ramsay will be secretly sizing them up. I just wanted to congratulate you guys and wish you good luck, but not good enough luck to win. My goal is to show Gordon Ramsay that I'm the only one that knows how to cook, and the way I look at it is fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, you're all going down. And that's the way I look at it. By the way, Chef Three Ramsay is gonna eat you alive walking in his kitchen with that hat on. He could have the hat, he'll just give it back to me when he gives me my own restaurant. <laughs> is definitely a battle. I hear these people on the bus talking about how they're gonna win. They ain't even a class with me. They're nothing to me. One hand would take out any of them. You know, I'm, just, I'm the black Gordon Ramsay. You know, but you know, I'm, 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 he's the president and I'm the four-star general. It has to go that way. Nice. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, man! Oh, my God. Oh, 
Wow. I never thought I'd love hell so much. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Look, it's John Philippe. John Philippe. Please, oh my goodness. get around. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. You must be all very excited to meet Chef Gordon Ramsay. Actually, I'm quite good in doing an impression of him. <laughs> one spaghetti, one risotto, one crab! What is this? No! <laughs> it's overcooked! <laughs> what about you? Could you do a little impression of Gordon? Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> what about you? Come on, where is it? I think you're going to have to work on it. <laughs> what about you, you big guy? Jean-Philippe, it's time to open Hell's Kitchen. Damn, he's doing it real good. Come here, you, you donkey. Wait a minute. Stop! Shut it down. I know that voice. That's right. It's me. <laughs> Didn't know it was coming. Oh. Let's see if you can actually cook as good as you shout off on the bus. And you, the black Gordon Ramsay, right? Yes, sir, for a star general. <laughs> Time to button it now and start cooking. Get in there and cook me your signature dishes. Let's go. This is insane. Chefs have been given just 45 minutes to prepare their signature dishes. And some of them desperately need this second chance to make a good impression. What did I get myself into? This is the worst sear I've ever done in my entire life. Last minute, plated and ready. Yes, chef! Yeah. Uh, OK. Behind, hot, skillet, hot. To his rice would be slightly overcooked. Woo! Watch out. Stop! A chef's signature dish explains exactly who they are. And having traveled here with you, I'm excited to see what I've got to work with. <laughs> Whose is this? I think it's mine, chef. Nice hat. I'm five foot five. I've always been the short guy, the small guy. And the reason why I wear the chef hat is because I got to feel that I'm tall and I'm big in the kitchen. Now, I've been cooking now for 21 years. I haven't quite come across a hat that size. Small boy syndrome downstairs. OK, explain the dish. It's a jerk seared chili and sea bass over rum raisin risotto. Everything's just so sweet. Well, the, uh, the jerk seasoning offsets the sweetness of the risotto. The fish may have been doused in jerk seasoning, but that's one thing I'm definitely not, a fucking jerk. That is a pile of shit. Take your hat and fuck off. <laughs> you come down to my kitchen again with a ridiculous hat on like that, I'll stick it in your ass sideways. I wear my chef hat every single day. I feel naked without it. Who's is this? I don't see anybody being more passionate about cooking than me. I'm not afraid to toot my own horn because I don't toot it, nobody else will. Toot, toot. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a garde manger chef now, so I pretty much do fruit, watermelon carvings. I can carve your face into a watermelon, and it'll look just like you. What's the dish? It is a Dungeness crab and corn risotto with a lobster tail. Oh, no. Damn. The rice is raw. 
and you're now on the garmanger, which is the cold part of the kitchen, which confirms you can't cook. There's a difference between constructive criticism and someone just being a butthead. I think Chef Ramsay might need to read a couple of books. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about, and he has absolutely no idea who he's talking to. With this group of hopefuls off to a bad start, whose is this? Chef Ramsay is looking for someone to blow him away. Private Chef Corey. That tells me a lot about you. Simple, plain, blonde, and boring. Fails to deliver. Sous Chef Jason. It wouldn't even pass as something tinned in a can doesn't fare much better. And caterer Shayna, you've burned the thing. Leaves Chef Ramsay still hungry for a dish he likes. Please God, let there be something on the next plate. Oh. My signature dish is going to help me stand out because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it an exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops, with caviar and white chocolate, and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops, chopped up, caviar, and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. <laughs> raw venison, raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. Unreal. Whose is this? Uh-oh, that's my dish. Where'd you cook? For the last 10 years, I've been playing Mr. Mom, staying home with the children, and cooking for the family. So you're not a professional chef? Um, no. I put up with a nine-year-old and a six-year-old hollering at me. Chef Ramsay has nothing on my kid. So what is it? It's a chicken cacciatore and a roasted orzo. For 45 minutes, I expected something a little bit more exciting. Back in line. I felt relieved because at least I didn't make them throw up like the last dish. It looks like a soup. He was just tearing everybody apart. And I figured, oh my god, I'm getting ready to get nailed. How long have you been cooking? Five years. And what's your position? Right now, I work in a law office as a receptionist. I'm just taking a temporary leave from culinary to watch my daughter. OK. What's the dish? It's a spicy mussel soup. <clears throat> it's actually not too bad. Thank you, chef. It's seasoned perfectly. Thank you. Thank you. Receptionist in a law office that has a palate. Thank you. With Roseanne's dish receiving a good review from Chef Ramsay, things might be looking up. Oh, fuck me. Or are they? What in the fuck? Happy Halloween? People ask me what my specialty is, but I don't have a specialty. I could cook anything. What is that? There's um, a Cornish hen inside. Uh... A Cornish hen? What do you do to it to get it in there? It got, got in there. I got it in there. Holy shit. These are potatoes? Yes, sir. And how much grease and fat and oil did you fry in? There's some butter in there. Some butter in that? It's a lot of butter. We'll stop there. Yeah. OK, OK. That goes in there. All yeah. Right. And let's see what we've got for trick or treat, shall we? OK. Oh, my god. How do you get in there and eat it? I mean, am I missing a trick? It's plated table side. Bro. Oh. How it's, it's, it's presented like yeah, that. Yeah, perfect. Right, take your time. OK. 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 Oh, my god. Uh, that's enough there, yeah. That's enough, OK. I don't think I'll get through all that, do you? OK, no. So what's the uh, dish called? Hen in a pumpkin. Right now, looking at that mess, I'd like to stick your fucking head in there, you know that? It's dry. 
Yeah. Well... And the pumpkin's not even seasoned inside, it's just bland. You had more chance sticking a candle in there, making me happy. For Halloween, you were sticking a pen in there. Fuck off. Chef Ramsay said he was looking for something memorable. And I believe that my dish was memorable. Now, it's room service chef Sharon's chance to deliver. You know damn well that isn't up to scratch for Hell's Kitchen. But her dish falls flat. Electrician Ben gives his best effort. It doesn't set me alight, but it's not bad. Culinary student Christina. Good concepts, terrible execution. And hotel cook Lou Ross. Could have done a lot more. Receive mediocre reviews. There are only two signature dishes left, and Chef Ramsay has yet to be excited by anything he's tasted. Whose is this? Mine, Chef. OK, come forward, madam, please. And how did you cook the halibut? I pan seared it, and then I put it in the oven just for a little bit. Thank you. That's the tastiest thing I've had all day. Thank you, Chef. Seasoned beautifully, light, fragrant. That was delicious. Thank you. The best dish by a mile so far. Chef Ramsay said I had the best dish. Yeah. Guess who's last? The four-star general, Black Gordon Ramsay. Yes, sir. Come over, big boy. All right. The things I was saying on the bus was all true. Now I got to show and prove, and I had no problem with that. So I'm cool. I'm cool as a cucumber right now. Would you prefer Gordon or Bobby? You can call me Chef Bobby. You talk the talk. What's the dish? This is a, a Hawaiian butterfish with the roasted red pepper Thai sauce. You cooked the fish in the deep fat fryer? Um, yeah, I did. I find it embarrassingly lazy to deep fry the fish. So cut the bullshit and get back in line. I was like, ah, that ain't no big deal. I'm still a four-star general on the streets and in the kitchen. I'm now starting to question, have I got that individual that's worthy of this phenomenal prize? This year, the pressure is immense. Because one of you is going to become the executive chef at my new restaurant here in Los Angeles. The brand new London, LA. London, LA. I want it. New Ross, London, LA. That's like triple L. You know what I'm saying? That's like L Boogie to the beat. The position worth a quarter of a million dollars. Winning Hell's Kitchen would totally change my life. I'm no longer just Jason. It's Jason who won Hell's Kitchen and has a pocket full of money and has to beat women off with a stick, for God's sake. These two individuals are absolutely crucial. It's two chefs. Scott will be running men's team, and Gloria will be running the girls' team. One more thing. This year, for the very first time, we're going into service with a captain from each team. You are going to be responsible for picking those captains, because tomorrow night, Hell's Kitchen opens for the very first time. Off you go to the dorms. OK, everybody, follow me. The chefs have little time to settle into their new home because they have to complete their first assignment, choosing a captain. Vanessa, I'm actually right now gearing towards you to be the leader because you did good today. <laughs> OK, Vanessa. All right. They chose me as captain. It's my responsibility to make sure that our service goes well. And if it doesn't go well, then I will be the one thrown off first. The women have wasted no time deciding who will be their team captain. The same, however, can't be said for the men. OK, so the captain. Who wants to do it? I want to do it. Man. I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I know I can do it. I'm not going to back down. It's frustrating because we have everybody saying they want to be captain. It was like a circus act. We, we have, have to be together right they now. They might be able to watch. While the men spend their time arguing, the women get to work. I think right now it will be best to memorize the menu. With 15 new dishes, this Hell's Kitchen menu is the most challenging yet. I can memorize three. That's about it. Oh my gosh, we have this huge binder of recipes. And it's a little stressful that we have to learn it in so little time. While the women hit the books, the men have hit a wall. All right, guys, we got to make a decision. I vote me for Catherine. 
to just go with Bobby? Because if I'm seeing someone struggle, I'm good enough to, to lend that hand. Who votes Bobby? We're going with Bobby. Do it. We're going with Bobby. Oh. Roll. <laughs> I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. Ba 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 bing ba 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 ba. Try to get some sleep as much as you can, guys. Exactly. I could look at that damn book tonight. What time is it? Almost one. With only 11 hours until the grand reopening of Hell's Kitchen, the aspiring chefs have their work cut out for them. All right, ladies, let's go. In the blue kitchen, the four-star general is leading his troops. How's everybody doing? Scallops, Scallops are, are done. done. Beautiful. If you need a set of hands, I'll be there. Bobby is great as a leader. We had some great team spirit and great teamwork. Everybody doing all right? Yes, yeah, chef. Sure. I'll be damned if I'm going to lose to a team of girls. The only thing I'm going to lose to a woman is like an ironing contest. We got this, Bobby. While the men quickly find their footing, the women try to find their leader. Where's Vanessa at? She's been gone for a minute. You guys, you're going really super slow. You're going to have to speed it up. I was hoping Vanessa would step up as leader. I think tonight has the possibility of being a train wreck. Oh, son of a bitch. Right, guys, let's go. Come over, please. Ladies, let's go. The doors of Hell's Kitchen will open in just a few minutes, and Chef Ramsay is excited to unveil his new menu. Tonight should be the most successful opening ever in Hell's Kitchen. The blue team is ready to go. I'm not letting that team lose tonight. Bobby, what are the five entrees on the menu? Uh, we'll have, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Matt, what are the five entrees? Uh, there's, uh, I don't know, I'm chef. What? Petroza, what are the entrees? Um. Chef Ramsay has just discovered one minor problem. <sighs> Nobody has a damn clue of what's going on. Ugh. My god. Christina, what are the five entrees? We have a lamb on croute, salmon, John Dory, beef filet, and the poached and roasted chicken, sir. Thank you. The guys suck, and they're going to go down in flames. That makes me happy. Guys, what is the matter? Right now, you look like a bunch of dicks. We haven't even fucking opened. Knowing the menu is one thing. Cooking the menu is another thing. Tonight, for the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, I've created a muse bouche, a little stunning pre-starter. One person from the blue team and one person from the red team will be serving tableside. Petroza, tableside. Shayna, tableside. Here we go, yes? Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. Yes, chef. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I'll start with the Caesar salad. Pan roasted scallops. First order and the blue side, chef. Two scallops, one risotto, one Caesar salad. As the orders start to come in, the pressure is on to get appetizers to the pass. Where's Jason? Where is he on the appetizers? Where is he? We're not even starting service with a full team. Where is he? That's what I'm asking myself, chef. Jason! What's he doing? Jason! 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 It's like a magician. He kind of disappeared. It's like, well, what the fuck are you thinking? Can you get your ass down here, please? Yes, Chef. Oh, my god. While both kitchens start on the appetizers, that pea salad goes on top of the risotto. The first flambés are lighting up the dining room. It's really just a way to get your palate excited. How's everybody's eyebrows? How are you this evening? The weather's still pretty outside, huh? While Petroza keeps the diners warm on the blue side, Petroza, don't set the room on fire, you donkey. Yes, chef. On the red side, the women look to Sharon to take control of the appetizer station. So you got to saute onions and garlic first, just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. let me do it. I'm a little concerned about Sharon, AKA Barbie. I call her Barbie because she's blonde with big knockers, but she seems a little ditzy sometimes. How long? Five minutes, chef. Five minutes. Three minutes, chef, three. Three? Three, 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 three. three. Who's on the section? Yes. I'm on yes. the second. No, she is, Chef, but I, I see it's 
It's almost there, Chef. I'm a little irritated with Jen. She can be overbearing at times. Risotto's coming over, guys. Leave it up there. Sharon, you run away from this, or are you making this? Taste that. No seasoning. Oh, come on, Sharon. It's like rice pudding. Chef Ramsay didn't like the risotto, but you know what? That's not just my fault. And it's too bad that Chef Ramsay didn't see that. Are we ready to plate scallops, girl? No, we got to redo the risotto. It's coming. So confused. Come on, Vanessa. Wakey, wakey, get a grip, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes? We're all a bunch of blind monkeys trying to run around in the kitchen, and there's nothing I can do about it. Which one are you cooking? This one. Whose is this one? I don't know. I'll get rid of it. Oh, come on, Sharon. While Sharon struggles, Jason is ready to bring his first appetizer to the pass. Let me taste it. No. Yes, taste that. You, taste that. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. It needs salt. It doesn't need, need salt. salt. Oh, my god. I'll make it again. The scallops, they're going. There was some wasted food right there, that's for sure. Right now, we are looking stupid. Jason sucks. I could have ran the appetizers, cold salads, meats. But I, you know, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I didn't want to make them feel stupid. Bobby, look at me. As long as you're sitting pretty, right? That's your game, no, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. I just don't want to dig in over there. There's yes. too many people. How about a little vote of confidence, a little bit of support? Even if Bobby didn't know what was going on, at least put some damn scoot in your boot and try and get some shit done. A little bit of cooking with the eyes, no? Yes. Fucking useless. While well, Bobby takes a hands-off approach to leadership, over in the red kitchen, Sharon has made another attempt at her first risotto. What have you put in there? It stinks of garlic. Garlic risotto. Where's the water? <clears throat> Sharon, enough's enough. Fuck off and go and put some more makeup on. You get on there. Yes, yeah, Chef. Just because I look pretty doesn't mean I cannot cook. I like to look nice. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Madam! Yes, yeah, Chef. Can I have a risotto? Three minutes. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and with no food leaving either kitchen, frustrations are building in the dining room. I can give you a bit of wine. I can give you a water. You can bring food. I can you bring it. I can give you my smile. That's yes. useless. With the bread supply in Hell's Kitchen dwindling, the pressure is on Jason to get some food to the pass. Jason? Yes, chef. Scholar's risotto. How long? Right now. Right now. Where are the scallops? What is that? Got little burnt bits or something in there. Oh, my God. The rice is overcooked. Ow. That's hot. Hey, you. Come here. I've had enough. You can't even get two fucking dishes together. That's how shit you've been. I don't want any more embarrassments. I just want to go with some food. It's over an hour into the first dinner service, and Jason is about to get an invitation. Sit down. Eat that. I want you to taste what you're trying to serve Hell's Kitchen. Sit down. Let me know when you're done. I'll get dessert. Yeah, I'm horribly embarrassed of myself. I should have fucking stayed home. Stuff your face, you bastard. With Jason enjoying a sit-down dinner at the pass and no food leaving the blue kitchen, only Petroza's flambés keeping the customers from hunger. I'm Lou Petroza. It's Petroza. Just call me Petroza. Ultimately, the goal is to make the, the customers happy. So I was chatting a little bit. Go quick, Chloe. Go quick, Chloe. OK, I'm going to hustle. I'm on oil. <sighs> While Petroza bides his time in the dining room, back in the red kitchen, Y'all got the scallops there? Got... Jen does her best to resuscitate the appetizer station. They're coming. Flip them over. Flip them over. Come on, y'all. Please, before he get over here. I'm not just some young girl who don't know what she's doing. I have mad skills in the kitchen. Who turned the eggs over like that? Do we serve eggs like that? Hello. I don't think it's that hard, you know, frying an egg. I want them up. Oh, come on. Roseanne, can you take control? Yes, Chef. Vanessa, get the captain's badge off your fucking arm, will you? Roseanne, away. OK, ladies, come on. Let's get one scallop and one season to this window. How long? I sucked as a captain. It was pretty bad. What's with the chicken? The chicken. What does the chicken get? Chick, 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 chicken, and gnocchi. I seriously don't know why Chef Ramsay didn't pick me. You know, I did a lot of stuff to exhibit leadership. That's wrong. It really is. All right, let's go with that scallop dish first. He's the second. Eggs first, then scallops. Yeah, that's correct. Are you mad? You mad at me? No. Oh. I thought she had like a little chip on her shoulder or something. When it's crunch time, I'm more aggressive, more vocal. 
And this is Hannah Montana, and I'm from New York City. How long we looking, girls? You said we got one minute. minute. One minute to the minute. window. While Roseanne attempts to bring order to the Red Kitchen, Dominic is getting a little one-on-one -on -one time with Chef Ramsay. Touch that. Touch that. Rubber. They're rubber. They're like a ball elastic band. It's like a fucking golf ball. Golf ball. I couldn't saute a scallop to save my ass tonight. Everything you've cooked, you've screwed. Have you ever cooked a scallop before? Whew, what a disaster. He hasn't even got the tuna in. Why are you putting more scallops in there? And you're like this with the scallops. Ah, oh, fuck me. Shit. Bobby, yes. I'm looking for someone to take control of this disgusting, embarrassing mess. He doesn't give a fuck. He's dreaming. He's standing there pissed in his pants looking for his tartar and caviar and white chocolate crap. And he's just running around like a toilet brush. Is anyone going to take control? Jump in there, Bobby. Jump in there, hey, baby. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jump in. You guys, you guys got it over there. It will make him so much confusion if I get in over there. You got six set of hands. You don't need eight set of hands over there. I don't want to join the chaos. He's the captain. I mean, to just be like, you know, I don't want to get in this chaos. That's basically like saying, fuck you, I quit. You ain't got to worry about what, what's over here. When you call for it, you got it. It's fucked up. While Captain Bobby is willing to watch his ship go down without him, over in the red kitchen. How's that risotto, Jen? You ready for us? Yeah, I guess. Jen is doing all she can to keep her appetizer station afloat. Let me show the risotto. Please, God, let the risotto That's be good. Too, yeah? Please, God. Very nice, the risotto. Hallelujah. <sighs> Thank you, Chef Ramsay. Yes, 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 Come on, ladies, we're getting our mojo back. With Roseanne in charge and Jen mastering the risotto, the red team is finally getting appetizers out to their diners. Oh, this is great. But over in the blue kitchen, the men are at a complete standstill. Jason, how much on the risotto? Like three or four minutes, man. Don't worry about scallop shit. I'm going to do two orders. As soon as I'm ready, I'll let you know. Just wait a second. I don't want to fuck it up again. Yeah. Yeah, that's bland. It looks terrible. Come here. Taste that. All of you, run, Dominic. You lazy fucker. And you put your fingers in there. Oh, my god. Look, snot. Fuck off. Useless fucking pieces of shit. Do you all know it's crap? Not one of you got the balls to do anything about it. I didn't taste it yet. Guys, it's just simple. Just go, man. Come on. Just redo it. I didn't see anybody taste their food today. And just get into the groove as if like you're making love to the kitchen. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, that's all. Hey, you, take that badge off. Give it to that little fucker over there. Thank God someone's got a pair of balls. I'm not the type of guy that be like, oh my God, I'm a bad chef now. No, no, not at all. Lou Ross can have that captain's position. I'm still a general. He's still, to me, he's still a private. All on risotto? How long on scallops? Two and a half minutes. If you guys are down to the one minute mark, one more minute. As Lou Ross tries to whip the blue team into shape, the red team has served appetizers to three more tables. Are we ready now with that beef? We're ready. And are starting their first entrees. Who cooked this chicken? I did, chef. Come here. Let's go all together now. Come on, You ladies. hold the chicken. Yes, sir. Hold oh, shit. Pass it around. There I thought go. either pan was going to get thrown, glass was going to get shattered. Someone was getting hurt. Throw me the ball. Let's fucking play around us. It happened to be the chicken, so sorry to the chicken. It's rubber, plastic, dry shit. While the red kitchen tries to bounce back from Corey's rubber chicken, Blue Ross finally has the blue kitchen moving. Risotto coming up, chef. Oh, gold star, Jason. Service, please. I finally got the hang of it. I feel like a million fucking dollars. I finally did something positive. There's just one small problem. What's the matter? They're all leaving, chef. What? Stop! Look out there! Your customers have gone! Shut it down! Clear down. Nothing to be proud of. I'm totally, utterly embarrassed. I really am. It was just a mess tonight in our red kitchen. It was really, really a mess. It's been one of the most disastrous dinner services in the history of Hell's Kitchen. But Chef Ramsay must still decide on a winning team. Tonight, no entree served whatsoever. Bobby, you hid behind your team. You performed like a coward. 
If I get in over there, I don't want to join the chaos. Is anyone going to take control? Jason, you sunk your kitchen. Vanessa, it's like having a mouse on service. Corey, that chicken bounced off the wall and nearly left the restaurant. It's rubber. Let's be honest, no one's won here tonight. The losing team tonight. Is the men. Lou Ross, clearly you tried. The best of the very worst. Go back to the dorms and choose two individuals up for elimination. My team totally died tonight. No communication, no energy, no focus. That's freaking embarrassing. Oof, holy shit. I'm glad that's over. It ain't over yet, dude. I might be going home. I tried my best. It was nowhere near good enough. But I did better than Bobby. I hope he gets a fucking foot so far up his ass he can taste it in the morning. Bobby needs to go, period. Bobby, he just sat there like a bump on a log. He left us bone dry tonight. He left us out for the dogs. He ought to be embarrassed, very embarrassed. I don't need to go to Lou Ross and beg him to not eliminate me. That's not my style. You know, I don't kiss no ass. What do you think how you did? That he would tell me, oh, we need the scallops. I made them. I overcooked them, and I cooked them too slow. It's not like cooking at home for the family. I feel that I did poorly. I've been out of the kitchen for 10 years, but I don't want to go home tonight. What's your take on it? I tried, but I didn't know the menu. Neither did anybody else. Whenever we have service, I just want you to be alive, you know what I'm saying? Just couldn't keep my energy level up, but that ain't going to fucking happen again. Blah, blah, blah. Jason, he had a bad night. He just kept messing up and messing up. And I'm not going to lie, I'd like to stay, but you do what you got to do. I am really in a tough spot right now. I got to nominate two people, so I don't even know what to do. You know you and I are getting put up tonight, right? Yeah, I'm going I got to think that. It's you or me. I'm sorry, but that's what I think. Tonight, the women rest easy, knowing that they are safe. Now, the men are about to learn which two of them will be nominated by Lou Ross for elimination. Lou Ross. Chef. First nominee and why, please. First nominee that I pick is Bobby. He was a captain, but then come service time, Focus wasn't there no more. Our side was pretty much dead of communication. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is, uh, is Dominic. I just couldn't get the orders on time. Dominic and Bobby, step forward, please. Oh, dear. Dominic. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I was misdirected. I was never guided properly by my captain. How many scallops did you put in the bin tonight? The scallops, they're going. That would be? 25. 30. 30. Black Gordon Ramsay. Why should you stay? You know, it was a lot of running around and pretending like some food was getting produced, but in all actuality, I, my entrees was ready to go. Let's cut the bullshit. Did you do a good job as a captain? Yes or no? Jump in there, Bobby. Jump in there, baby. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jump in. You guys, you guys got it over there. No, sir. First time you give me a straight answer since you've been here. Dominic and Bobby, both of you could have done better. My decision is... Dominic, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. You wake up. Thank you. 
Good night. Thank you. Being here and being sent home first night is really a heartbreaker. I had an opportunity to work with Chef Ramsay. It was a dream of mine, but that dream was dashed. Bobby, you threw the towel in. This is Chef Ramsay's way of telling me you need to step it up. I'm ready for it, because he's going to find out there's a diamond in the rough. Jason. Yes, Chef. You dodged the bullet, big boy. I can do better, Chef. We have embarrassed male chefs all over the world today. Well, it's on now. There's no way in hell I'm losing the girls again. That ain't happening. This has been the worst ever start and the most amazing prize. And if you think I'm taking this lightly, you're fucking joking. Get out. To be a great chef, you need passion, creativity, and talent. Dominic had passion, but that was it.